Uh, Royden, we'll say a very good morning to you. Good morning to you too, Emily. Uh, Beefeat has been doing a fantastic job, got those placings on the board, just hasn't quite got the win, but has been meeting some pretty tough company. Do you think day, today's the day that perhaps he can get that uh, victory? Yeah, we're well, hoping, Emily, always hoping. Um, he's run into a couple of smart horses um, this time up, but um, he's probably just been, you know, getting fitter and stronger and... Um, He's really improved on his last couple of runs, so you know, it's back on his home track today where he seems to race his best, and he's got a good jockey on. And it's not an overly strong field, but there's a couple of smart horses in there. He's had a few battles with Slimline and a few, few others in the field, but um, yeah, chance that aren't to be hard to beat the one down the bottom of it. What a big chance as well. How are you uh, going to be hoping that he's ridden today? What are you going to be your instructions to Lisa Wall Press? Um, she'll uh, pr probably go forward from the draw. Whether he leads or sits outside the leader, I'll, I'll just leave it up to him. But um, uh, he should get a nice run. There's a little bit of uh, rain maybe scheduled to, to be around there at uh, our Puni. Is that going to affect him at all, or you think you're pretty comfortable? You've obviously pretty close to the track, so you're, you're going to know how, how the day's going to unfold. To be fair, it doesn't look like any rain coming here at the moment, but you never know if well, uh, Palmerston North, because they've got such a good wind here, it can blow anything in, in the way here. So, yeah, um, I don't think a little bit of rain wouldn't bother him anyway. I think he's all right on a dead track, but if anything worse, he struggles a little bit. He's a big striding fella. Also on the, the program, you've got Just Fabulous pretty early on in uh, race two. Just hasn't done anything wrong. I mean, this horse is, is still a maiden, has met King Louis. Uh, what are you expecting as a performance today from Just Fabulous? Um, yeah, look, she's trained on really well. Um, she's a very nice looking filly. Quite strong. Um, the other day, she didn't have the best of runs, and she was pretty tough. She got beaten by um, Lisa Letters. Maiden, which is um, sentimental miss, which is quite a nice filly. And uh, I think the track just tripped her up a wee bit. But today, like, she's got a reasonable draw. I know she's still a maiden, and there's a couple of winners, three or, three or four winners in there. But um, I think she'll, um, she'll give them a shake-up. And uh, what about the drop back to the 1,300 metres? Was that intentional or just that you'd sort of found uh, a nice race for her here? Oh, look, I mean, she was going to go 1,400 near Plymouth yesterday, but they had a twilight meeting and we wouldn't have got home until about midnight. So the nominations were small for this, just a three-year-old race here. We have twice as much money as them. Instead of spending six or seven hundred dollars on a float for a Mosley winner on a home track and just kept it a bit fresh this week and she's really well. You've got one other runner on the programme. If you had to pick out a best bet for us, what would it be? Um look that horse and the, the maiden he'll, he'll go a good race. He's always prom promised a lot. Yeah. Um he would be a good place to bet, but um probably beefy to look. Everyone's tipped them on the radio and all over the place this morning, so I'm just hope I'm right. All right, well, thank you so much for that, Royden. Great to get your insights on the morning of the races and uh, best of luck today.